we recommend using a headphone for our podcast. We also recommend you turn off the light in your room and be alone. It will give you the best experience through the paranormal universe. Science may finally unravel the centuries old paranormal tale of the Bell family haunting a story that's captured the imagination of area residents and Hollywood executives alike for more than 200 years. Austin P. State University's Dr. Megan Mann, an assistant professor of chemistry, talked about her research and subsequent theories on the Bell Witch during a Science on Tap event held in Clarksville. I'm hoping that people can see this old and magical case through new and scientific eyes. Ancient and modern folklore suggests the Bell Witch poisoned the family's patriarch John Bell, something Mann's research can explain through science. Mann began researching the Bell Witch in 2008, and appeared in the debut of A&D's new American documentary drama, and paranormal investigative series, Cursed, The Bell Witch. The five-part show premiered in October of 2015, and was filmed on location in Adams, Tennessee. She became interested in the legend shortly after moving to Robertson County, when she spotted the Bell Witch Cave sign, on Interstate 24's Exit 11. I didn't know what it was, so I was curious, and that's when I started looking into it. It has some level of truth behind it, which is unusual for a ghost story. We know that John Bell and his family were real people. There are records that, these people lived here in this area, and so that kind of sets it apart, from a lot of other legends in a way, that's kind of fun, I think. The story starts with John Bell, a farmer from North Carolina, who moved with his family to a 320-acre, northern Robertson County farm, in 1804. For more than a decade, the Bell family lived in peace, until strange events began occurring around the farm and their home in the summer of 1817. They began to see strange-looking animals, and heard knocking sounds on the door, and walls at night, according to legend. Other disturbing sounds included rats gnawing on bedposts, chains dragging through the home, stones dropping on the floor, and gulping and choking sounds. The Bell Witch legend, is a big tourism draw for the city of Adams, in Robertson County. In addition to the annual, Bell Witch Fall Festival, the community is home to a host of historic landmarks, named in honor of the legend, like the Bell Witch Cave, pictured here. Eventually, the family made contact with a paranormal entity, that identified itself as the witch of a neighbor, named Kate Bats. From then on, it was known as Kate, or the Bell Witch. For the next three years, Kate tormented the family none more so than John Bell and his daughter, Betsy Bell, who was pinched, scratched, stuck with pins, and beaten, according to legend. Some historians say, the witch's efforts were meant to keep, Betsy Bell from marrying the family's neighbor, Joshua Gardner, and to ultimately kill John Bell, though no reason as to, why had ever been provided. In December of 1820, John Bell died from poisoning, Betsy Bell broke off her engagement, with Gardner the following year. Over the last century, it's thought that Kate has returned twice, once in 1828 and again in 1935, though many local residents believe, she's never truly left the area, and remains in Adams today. Thank you for watching. We upload new episodes every other day. Subscribe to join the haunted journey.